Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese. As always, got some more pass and plays for you guys, my Raiders followers. I told you guys I was going to try to hook you up with some pass plays. Uh, the Raiders ebook, I mean, it's one of the biggest ebooks that I have on my site pretty much every year. So there's nothing but content uh, available when it comes to this. I could put out my uh, iPhone close. Uh, scheme next. I mean, I have so many great iPhone close plays uh, going back to probably at least last, last year when they redid this book. So if you want to see that, once again, if you want me to continue with the Raiders and put out some of this fire content, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and let's get into today's scheme. I just put out a breakdown from the uh, Bunch TE. So if you want to see that, I'll put a link in the description below if you missed that. I also put out, this is probably like the third or fourth uh, scheme I put out from the Raiders this year. I also uh, put out um, a running scheme. So I'll try to have links in the description for all that stuff. But you can always check out my Raiders uh, playlist. Every team that I put out stuff from, I have a playlist for. So you can always check that out. But today's scheme is about the empty tray stack. If you guys watch my gameplay, I'm in the empty formations. Uh, you know, half the game. I love empty formations. That's, to me, the way to go. If you really want to spread out a defense, and bomb them all over the field empty formations are the way to go i love the empty base flex once again i'll put a link in the description for that for that breakdown as well this one here is probably my favorite formation in the entire game uh, but today like i said we're going to focus on a new formation empty tray stack uh, lots of bombs to be had here very good scheme i'm going to try to make sure that uh, i put out some extra stuff from this formation on my patreon on my join now community tab uh, and obviously the, the ebook links in the description below so if you want to see the full breakdown of this scheme make sure you check it out on one of those platforms uh, i'm going to start off with my favorite one which is the fade out so let's go and let's start off with that this play here we're going to go from zone to zone we're going to start off with a cover two zone and before i get into the video as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor mmoxp.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up during this promo make sure to check them out use discount code money shot to get five percent off your order so let's go and let's get right into this uh, particular setup there's a couple of different plays to be had here against cover two one motion i'm going to make pretty much every time and you can see i don't have my fastest guy in the money route i got rugs here in the slot this is just going to be the route that pulls coverage all i'm going to do is put him on a streak that's pretty much it that's all i really have to do to make this play uh have success and the y route here is going to be uh really good outside now i could probably move the ball over so i can get some nice catch and runs going uh which is something that i'm going to have to do at some point let's go let's move the ball over real quick there's, like I said, there's a cover two play on the other side as well, uh, so I'll have to move the ball again. But this is something that I'm going to do on another play. Uh, motioning this guy in is going to make a big difference. Uh, and then, like I said, this guy right here is going to be really big outside. Now, that pretty dramatic pass lead, I think it was because I was trying to avoid the sack. But we can definitely get a one-play touchdown out of this. So let's go and let's do this one more time. Try not to get such a dramatic pass lead uh, to the sideline. Uh, and try to stay in bounds, but you can see we're getting a big play. Maybe it's not a one play touchdown, but it definitely will be against cover three. The next thing, I'm going to go ahead and go to the other side. Motion the ball over once again. Like I said, you got to run these to the open side of the field because I'm going to be attacking the outside once again, and that's going to be to the B route. Once he gets past that jam, which you can see right there, I mean, I guess maybe I didn't get a good throw. Maybe I threw it a little bit uh, off timing. But once you get past once he gets past that jam, you're gonna have a big play. You could also streak this A route here just to try to pull that safety back because he's the only guy that can really have a problem with this. And then you can see we have an explosive play to the other side of the field. So against cover three now, uh, same setup. It's just gonna be a slightly different read. Uh, now Ruggs is gonna be the guy. I don't really need the B route doing what he's doing anymore. So we can go ahead and we can put him on a drag that'll give you a good check down between him and Witten. But this play right here is really gonna all be about that X route. As you can see, that cornerback outside really uh, bites eventually will bite on the wheel route and it'll give you a really easy streak up the seam for a one play against cover three now this play can also uh hit a one play touchdown against cover four that's cover for drop not cover for quarters uh but i'm gonna have to make a little bit of an adjustment i try not to use henry ruggs uh, i'm gonna try to go with uh, nelson aguilar uh, because I want somebody, I, I don't want too much of a speed advantage, but I want enough of a speed advantage. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if I use rugs, I feel like it's not really proving anything. But putting Nelson Aguilar there, who's just a little bit faster, uh, will make this a one play touchdown against cover four drop. So let's go ahead and let's pick the fade out. And then we'll go ahead and we'll pick. We only, the only cover four they have here is in the uh, di oh, not diamond, I'm sorry, the dollar, uh, which is right here. So we'll pick that. So once again, making that motion in with rugs. 
putting him on an in route, then smart routing him, and then putting Aguilar here on a streak. That's all you really have to do. You see when I motion in rugs that the uh, the cornerback, the outside cover four uh, cornerback follows him, which is going to have him totally out of position. And like I said, I just hope that, Ag that Aguilar has enough speed uh, when I go to throw this ball up. And you can see we're getting an easy one play touchdown outside of cover four. This is one of the, this is, to me, without a doubt, I mean, number one, this is a faster cover four than most cover fours, because cover four out of three, four, um, you know, this has more cornerbacks on the field, so it's it's a faster version, but at the same time, I mean, this is, most cover four beaters, you have to wait till they cross the field. This doesn't do that. This is something that you can beat it outside, which is absolutely insane, so this, to me, is probably the best cover four beater in the game so that play was good enough for an entire video uh but we got more so let's move on to the z under uh the z under is another good play especially when it comes to cover three cover two i mean it's another look uh that has a lot of the same effects so we'll go and we'll start off with tampa two so same setup we're going to pretty much be attacking this the same way although we're streaking the x route now and that's going to be more the read uh a lot of times if it's second and five or something like that putting the y route on a smart route is going to be the way to go um, because it'll shorten that route and, and the more you shorten that route the better But since I'm in cover two right now, it's not necessarily the way to go uh, Against cover two cover three I mean, you could just easily put this X route on an out route and have a really good uh, dink and dunk package uh, Of plays right there. I mean you can see the way that this formation sets up it gets outside of the coverage a lot of times I mean I'm trying to make these plays look good without using the without utilizing the ridiculous speed of Henry Ruggs because you know how uh, I mean, he can make anything look good. Uh, I try to stay away from guys like him and Tyreek Hill in these practice modes, but you can see you can get an easy one-play touchdown against cover two with just those adjustments. But you can also put uh, rugs on a streak, and this is more typically how I do it. Put him on a streak, uh, put the A route on a drag, or Renfro's already on a drag, but since he's so far away, I think it's better to have somebody closer like Waller here, whoever, somebody on a drag just to pull that cornerback down, give yourself a check down, and you can see it pulls that cornerback down faster as well because the cornerback sees the oncoming drag and has to react to it but it's also a really good cover three play and like i was saying if you can if you can smart route that y route to make it shorter do that but all i'm going to do is motion him in once again streak everybody give myself a check down maybe with uh, the rb route something like that uh this is pretty much going to be the look and then that x route once again uh, like i said i got rugs out there now so he's going to have it a little bit extra separation than normal maybe a couple yards but it's an easy one play touchdown against cover three I'm going to go right up the seam one more time here. Like I said, I'm not, I don't, I give myself check downs, but I rarely use them. And we're going to go right up that seam one more time. Like I said, this is super gone. I mean, we're going by about five yards easy because I, I didn't take rugs out, but it doesn't matter. It, it's, it's not broken because of rugs. It's going to happen uh, no matter what receiver you have there. So like I said, this is just a really easy stretch the field type of play. Uh, we can be cover three, cover two, and we could probably be cover four. Let's give cover four another try. I mean, I already know that this play can beat cover four outside. I know that the Y route's going to be cover four outside because that's just how cover four doesn't really react outside too well. So that's not really a surprise. You can see we're going to get that. Probably won't have enough room to catch and run up the sideline because I put this out in my ebook that, you know, the Y route here, if you do this setup, the Y route will beat cover four the same way. I don't know if I'll be able to get going because I kind of run out of space pretty quickly, uh, but that's not, you know, like I said, now. Now that this uh, this formation has a better way to do it, this is really the way to go. And once again, don't really know if Aguilar's got the speed all the time to do it. But if he gets that outside release, you can see I can make that play. And we have a, it's really the it's the formation, not the play that beats one that, that beats cover four. So the next play is the curl switch. This is a really good cover two man beater. I'll go ahead and I'll pick that and I'm gonna specifically choose cover two man because it's designed for that. So for cover two man, which this play is kind of specifically designed for, I mean, we got man beaters all over the field. Uh, the A route, the, the RB route, these guys are all man beaters, although Witt and Slow is molasses. He's like a lineman running this route, uh, but he's he's got a man beating route. Like I said, the RB route's a man beating route. This is pretty much just a great man beating play to the point where you have man beaters all over the field. Even the B route is, but if I really want to make an explosive play, streaking the Y route, Putting the X route on a smart route is going to guarantee an inside release. And then I just have to basically just, I want to make sure I'm, I'm low passing that, holding the left trigger when I make that throw. And it's going to be a very big play up the middle. This obviously will not work against cover one man. Some of your other reads are going to be the cover one man reads. If you have a cover one man, you might want to motion over uh, the B route or something like that. I mean, cover one man, honestly, all three of the receivers on the right side will be cover one man. But if I want, if I really want cover two, which is probably the harder defense to beat, 
got to low ball that and we're going to get that inside release all based off of the uh the smart route so smart routing this guy definitely the way to go streaking the uh the other you know the y route i mean they're all winning all these routes are beating their man assignments with the exception of the streak which is really only there to do one thing to pull back that safety you know what I'm saying? The rest of these routes, they're all doing their job. I mean, even with Wynn. Like, Wynn's not a fast tight end. He's a horrible tight end at this point in his career. He's burning his man. <clears throat> so, you got everything going on here. If you don't smart route this X route, though, I don't really feel like he gets the separation. You can see right there, I, mean, I barely got that from a dive. So, smart routing that is key. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more Raiders, like I said, I got my iForm close scheme. I can put that out next. Uh, lots of run plays and pass plays in that. So, if you want to see that, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.